human health and planetary health are totally interlinked. Our aim and ambition and hope is that over the course of the coming years, we help to create and mobilize 8 billion imperfect environmentalists. Perfection can be many different things. It's around thinking you can make a difference through little things that you personally do. How can you influence others to do things too? And collectively, when it's all coming together, that's where you make the real big changes and you see how it all develops. Anything almost that a young person is interested in, the Commonwealth has a network that you can join. It is certainly not all humans who are responsible for this. Instead, it is a particular civilization, a particular culture. If you prolong the life of your clothing by nine months, it would bring down fashion's footprint by 30%. Biodiversity loss anywhere in the world is a tragedy. What are we doing about water? Like, we're in a really challenging space. We only find highly biodiverse ecosystems in nature. 80% of the world's biodiversity is in the stewardship of 5% of the world's population, which are the indigenous peoples. We need to protect spaces to let nature do what it does. We must once again have nature, trees, grass, turtles, cows, as our extended family. Without wildlife, landscapes are just scenery. The wildlife is much more important than we ever thought. People are going to be eating more plants because they know it's good for their body, they know it's better for the planet. We are really reshifting our focus in making sure our sport is super relevant for the transition. That footwear, the sole, is conductive, so you're receiving the Earth's electromagnetism. Once you're truly aligned, you cannot do anything but be the best custodian of our planet. What gives me hope are, are the young people. Be the person who cares. We can do this if we choose. It's just we can't do it alone.